nanoscience is a field of research that is opening up a new world of possibilities in the immediate future. But what are the benefits of constructing devices that are infinitely small? Inside Lehman's Ulrika Silverstolpe has the story. Dr. Eugene Shudnovsky has worked with nanoscience throughout his career as a physicist. Today, he heads a team of graduate students, undergraduates, and visiting scientists in the Department of Physics at Lehman College. They are studying how nanoscience can be applied in order to manipulate atoms individually, so that these atoms form machines or objects. The structures are so small, they are not even visible with a conventional microscope. Nanometer is a scale that contains maybe 10 atoms, no more than that. And uh, science uh, of such small objects is called nanoscience. Now, nanotechnology is a, a different uh, issue because technology is about applications of nanoscience. And the modern trend of technology is to uh, manufacture things at smaller and smaller scale. If the goal of manufacturing devices on such a small scale can be reached, we can anticipate significant advances in various fields. Certain engineered particles made of proteins have been found to naturally order themselves into ring structures. Molecules can even be arranged in a grid with a smooth distribution across the entire surface. Nanotechnology could play an important role in medicine, allowing for treatment to be conducted at the cellular level, something that is not yet possible. In the relatively near future, the capability to move individual atoms could also revolutionize the computer industry. In order to increase computer memory, we need to put uh, uh, more information on a small area of recording and this means that we have to come up with smaller elements of computers. And uh, the time is approaching when we are going to break the nanoscale, that is the uh, element of memory of the computer will be of nanoscale size. Scientists are already capable of creating molecular scale tubes of carbon that are extraordinarily strong but lightweight. Researchers also continue to explore the theory that nanotubes could become infinitely small signal paths that mimic the behavior of neurons in the human brain. Dr. Shudnovsky's PhD students at Lehman College are also working on projects that involve quantum computation, a popular branch of science and physics that is associated with computer work on a nanoscale. Quantum computer is, uh, so you know, in a classical computer you have bits which are one and zero. So you have a state, it's either in a state of, let's say, one or zeros. Um, we're trying, you know, in the future to have something we call quantum computer, where instead of having one or zeros, you could have these two states or a combination or a superposition of these two states. Quantum computation could render computers stronger, safer, faster. However, as is often the case with new discoveries, more research is needed before these inventions can be used on a daily basis. Nanotechnology is uh, the technology of the future, and while nanoscience is already widely understood, there are still many gaps that need to be filled. And uh, uh, people working in this field, in the field of physics, in various fields of physics, are struggling to um, uh, fill in these holes and understand uh, nanoscience so that they can develop nanotechnology. At laboratories, many people, and this is the cutting edge of science, are creating nano devices uh, at the scale of individual atoms and molecules. The question is uh, how to transfer uh, that laboratory technology to industry at the massive scale this takes time, it is expensive, costly, but it's going to, ha to happen in the nearest future. As research progresses, people could soon begin to experience firsthand that big things can, in fact, come in small packages. Ulrika Silvertolpe, Inside Lehman.